Hi everyone, so welcome to today's session. So today we will be going to see what are the kind of questions that are getting asked in the, uh, let's say for in, um, Infosys interview, okay? The questions might be, uh, let's say if you are going to have an interview in the Infosys, let's say question might be different based on your resume and your, uh, let's say for the position you are going to apply on. but here the questions that I got in the uh, in, in the Infosys interview for four years of experience three to four years of experience and uh, we will also see why the interview got failed okay and uh, what are the mistakes that you should not do if you are going to crack the interview or if you are going into an interview what kind of uh, mistakes you should not do okay so those things will be understanding so before starting all of you know how you can get the document so here you can go to the here you can go to the website right so here you can go to the website and in the website here we are having digital product inside that digital product here you will be having the documents okay so just for who are the new people so you can get some of the document that we are uploading time to time you will be getting all the documents from here in the digital product okay so now let's understand what are the questions so basically uh, some of the questions i have forgotten because i have given this interview a long time ago around uh, maybe we can say before three to four years or four to five years before i have given this interview so maybe some questions have been added some questions maybe asked on a new let's say um, uh, based on the s for hana based on the new topics might be it will be added but it will be these are the question which have been asked so first thing will be introduction second thing i got the question on the what is the p2p cycle what is the consignment this is these are the regular process okay consignment subcontracting and uh, there are a couple of more questions was there which i have forgotten but basically where I have failed at that point of time I was not working in the MRP scenario and uh, see if you are working on a real time environment let's say this MRP scenario in most of the cases this will be handled by the PP consultant okay so we are not supposed to look more inside the MRP topic or we are not going to look into it so I have a basic idea on it and I have not seen the configuration process so when in the interview they have asked like have you worked on the MRP scenario so I have explained them like in our project we are having the PP consultant so they are taking care of the MRP process so I have not worked on it but I have an idea on the MRP process because all of you know like how the MRP process will work then next question they have asked do you know what is the configuration of MRP steps so at that point of time I was not able to answer that and I have not seen that process like MRP configuration process I have not seen over it okay so this was the first we can say first thing which was a gone negative okay or it, it it have a negative impact second thing they have asked on the lsmw process okay at that point of time there was a lsmw process right now i believe um, lmtc or uh, this uh, ltmc process is there okay so right now also this ltmc process is outdated right now there is a uh, your data migration um, cockpit is there okay so you need to focus on that okay you need to learn on that you need to focus on that right now if we say about the after two uh, two zero two three version so it will be so as per the sap let's say standard operating process so they have eliminated the ltmc process also okay so basically they have asked me what is the lsmw process I have explained them what is the LSMW process, what is the different types of uh, let's say uh, data capture uh, methods are there, let's say we, we can do it with the uh, batch input, we can do it uh, with the uh, BDC recording, we can do it with uh, IDOC processing. So these are some of the steps or some of the method that we can capture the LSMW process, we can do the LSMW process. 
okay now here the next question that they have asked was explain all the steps now there are 14 to 18 steps are there to complete the LSMW process and at that point of time it was in my thought that no one is going to ask you the all of the steps okay but unfortunately this was the question that was asked in the interview so they have asked explain all step what are the steps are available so explain it so I have not practiced on it and I have not remembered that thing so that's why it was difficult to explain me on that scenario so basically mostly these two scenario that was a negative that had a negative impact on the interview process now what should be the key takeaway from this discussion so basically if you are going to attend an interview whatever things you are mentioning in your resume practice it thoroughly let's say you have a experience you have worked on on it or you have not worked on it okay let's say if you are putting in that in your resume practice it thoroughly or understand it thoroughly understand the process understand the configuration steps and understand what are the steps are there so these things you need to remember so that's why I have given you one practice process or revision process how you should do the revision you have to write it down like let's say what should be the process flow what should be the document type what should be the accounting entries so based on that you need to do a revision so if you don't if you have not seen that video you can go to the channel and there you can find all of those things okay now that was the first thing so whatever things you are preparing on if you are going to an interview so prepare on all the topics okay let's say if you are mentioning that MRP process or if you have not mentioned also let's say if they are having a requirement of MRP process so they will be definitely ask you okay so similarly if they are going to uh, put you in a migration project or let's say data migration project or something like that or implementation project so they will be asking you about the data migration tools okay so be prepared on that also okay so these are the things which you should practice if you want to know what is the lsmw process or if you want to know what is the mrp process or if you want to know what is the let's say how to revise so you can just go to the channel okay this is the channel so here you can find let's say if i say lsmw just search over there you can see two topics are there lsmw how the data will be uploaded what is the lsmw versus bdc method of data upload so that also you can find let's say if you are going to search on the mrp so this will be on the 81 playlist will be there inside that means the complete sap mm playlist is there inside that from 67 to 70 number of classes uh, class number 67 to class number 70 here you will be finding the MRP process let's say if you want to see how to revise somewhere here okay so right now I'm not able to find it you can just search in the channel there will be something called how to revise or how to revise quickly some kind of topics will be there just look into that okay you'll be having a fair idea how you can practice more more scenario means all of the scenarios in a uh, shorter time how you can practice those kind of things based on the interview perspective okay so if you are going to work then definitely you have to go to the section and you have to see like how the process like different process on which process you are going to work that process you have to look into it but basically if you are going for an interview that is how you can prepare for the interview you can revise for the interview okay so that's it for today i will i believe this will be helpful for you that's it for today let's connect on the next class till then bye bye take care and keep learning